You just set up the perfect campaign, you put your audiences together, you finally launched your ads, and nothing. Your ads aren't spending on TikTok. What is the problem? How do you fix it? And I'm going to cover that exact solution. What's up y'all, it's Chase Chapel here and it's your favorite digital marketer where we cover TikTok ads and Facebook ad strategies and I'm going to be showing you today exactly how you can get your TikTok ads to start delivering. A lot of you might think that you set up the perfect campaign, did all of the right steps, but come to find out your ads just aren't spending and you want them to deliver so that way you can start to get sales. And I keep getting this question through Instagram in my DMs at Real Chase Chapel, where y'all are asking why your ads aren't delivering. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump into your TikTok ads manager and we're gonna go through and create a campaign so that way we can make sure you did all of the correct steps so that way your ads can start delivering and we're gonna troubleshoot why your ads might not be delivering so that way you can get them to deliver and achieve sales. First thing we're gonna do is hit the create button and this is gonna create a campaign and we're gonna go ahead and select a conversions campaign. If you're optimizing for purchases, this is what you would do. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And if you're using an actual TikTok pixel, you're gonna wanna make sure you have one set up because you're gonna to need to make sure it's active. If you have an inactive pix pixel with no recent activity, that is one reason your ads might not be delivering. So first you wanna make sure you have an active TikTok pixel. And if you use Shopify, you'll use the Shopify integration to integrate that. If you use another website, see if TikTok actually allows you to integrate. So that way you can make sure your pixel is active. Once your pixel is active, you want to make sure you choose an optimization event. It's important to choose an optimization event because this is what you're going to be optimizing for to get results. So if you want purchases, then you're going to want to optimize for purchases. Now, an important play here is Sometimes people are gonna recommend you to, if you're not getting delivery, they might say, well, rather than just optimizing for complete payment, which is purchases, you should optimize for add to cart because you can get those events. I wouldn't follow that advice that is just so not true. If you want purchases, you need to optimize for purchases. The last thing you need is to be optimizing for add to carts and getting that exact thing and not actually seeing sales from your results. Just because your ads might deliver with add to carts doesn't mean you should be doing so because you can guarantee your ads will deliver by choosing complete payment if you know exactly how to create a TikTok ad that actually converts and that will allow you to get delivery. So if you truly do want purchases, make sure to choose complete payment because you don't want to choose any other event if you're already going to be optimizing for sales. The next thing is you're going to select the placements and you're going to want to make sure you're only delivering to TikTok because the video we're going to be using is for the TikTok placement. We're going to be running ads in the US in this case, so we want to make sure we're delivering there. And then we're going to go ahead and you know, leave these two other settings on and we're going to go ahead and leave our targeting to 18 plus for this specific uh, product slash service we're promoting. And then the main thing is your ads might not be delivering due to audience size. If your audiences are way too small, you might not be seeing delivery. You want to make sure you have an audience size that is more than at least, you know, a few million people up to 10 million people. That is a good audience size. 10 million plus is great. 60 million is fine. We see great results with that and get plenty of delivery that way. So you're going to want to make sure that you don't over narrow your audience. So usually it's best just to accept the, you know, initial recommendations that TikTok gives you. So that way you can get the best results. Their system is getting better by the day. So highly recommend to, you know, go with the actual suggestion that they have. And this is going to give you an audience size that will allow you to get delivery. So that will rule out not only the pixel, but the audience as well. The next thing is your daily budget. So you're going to set a $20 daily budget. That's the minimum you have to spend in order for delivery to happen. Now, some of you might not be getting delivery due to the actual ad schedule. You want to make sure your ad runs at the scheduled start time. You might have set a later start date. You might have saved the campaign in your account and then you know published it a day later and that actually throws off the scheduled time. So make sure you're in the correct time zone and you choose the time that you want this to go live. So in this case, you know, we're going to choose the date that we want it to go live, which is today. And then we're just setting it one hour ahead of our time. So that way we know within one hour, as long as these ads get approved, they'll start to deliver. And that will roll out not only the budget, but also roll out the schedule. The next thing we need to roll out is going to be the bidding and optimization. Here, 
you're going to want to make sure that you're optimizing for conversions if you actually want conversions. And in order to make sure that you get delivery, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're choosing lowest cost. If you set a cost cap, you might not actually get delivery because the system doesn't yet know if it can get you a result at the cost cap that you set. So therefore it might not actually deliver. Once you've selected lowest cost, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is hit next. And this is the most important part because this is the part that most people don't realize actually plays a heavy factor in you getting ad delivery with your TikTok ads. And believe it or not, it's the actual creative. TikTok just doesn't wanna deliver creative unless it's actually you know, TikTok friendly and is going to appeal to the audiences on TikTok. And they have a very you know, steep protocol for how they you know, review a creative and accept it and make sure that it's going to pass all of the parameters that they've run it through in order for it to get ad delivery. If you execute your creative you know, in the perfect way that TikTok is in favor of, you're going to see that delivery as long as you have all these other settings in check as well. And one way to make sure that you have a creative that actually is going to convert is by going to the top ads on TikTok. And in the top ads, you can see the top ads on TikTok, who's you know running ads in the you know conversion space for purchases. And you can see which industry and which ads are performing the best. And you can get an idea of the style of TikTok ads that are getting lots of delivery. These ads are at the top. Therefore, they're getting millions of impressions in most cases and are getting tons of sales. So therefore, these ads are great you know, uh, guides to actually look at to see what are the common paths that these videos have. So that way you can make sure that your video is in line with these. That way you rule out the creative. And once you've done that, then your ads will actually start to deliver. And so what you'll check into is looking at some of these creatives. And we'll go ahead and click on one of these. And you're going to see that the average time is going to be anywhere between 20 and 40 seconds for a TikTok video that is going to actually produce great results on TikTok ads. TikTok highly recommends 20 to 40 seconds because that is the highest number of conversions that they're seeing with the platform. And that's also what we're seeing with our clients. In this case, this is 20 seconds as well. You know that it's getting a lot of delivery because it has about 80,000 likes almost. And there's a big pop of click-through rates at the very end. What's important here is you wanna make sure that your creative is around the 20 to 40 second mark. If it's very short or way too long, it might not get delivery. The other factor is if you don't have a fully vertical video, that is another issue. You need fully vertical in order for TikTok to deliver your ad more than others. The other factor is making sure you have text in your video. The more text you have, the more engaging the video actually is. Therefore, you're going to get more purchases and keep people engaged for a longer period of time. And that allows you to get people all the way to the end to actually take action on the actual call to action you have. And this is really important because the more you play to the strengths of the actual algorithm with TikTok ads, the more likely you'll get delivery with your ads. If you've been stuck at zero or haven't had any delivery, which we've ran into this problem before many times and we always solve it through making sure we one, roll out all of those other things that we just looked through, and then it always comes back to the creative. And so once we dial in our creative 20 to 40 seconds with text throughout the video, with the call to action at the end, we have a voice overlay or music within the video and we always see the delivery start to come through. And once the delivery is starting to happen, you'll notice you can start to scale up very easily with TikTok ads because you're playing to the strengths of the algorithm. And so that's really the most important part. Once you've done that in your actual TikTok ads manager and you've uploaded the video, you're gonna add the text, add the URL, and the other final factor you're going to look into is making sure that it's policy compliant. A lot of times you gotta make sure you have shipping details, terms of service, privacy policy on your actual website for these things to deliver. And you also need to make sure your site isn't too slow. If it takes like 14 to 15, 20 seconds to load, TikTok's not gonna deliver your ad because that just drives a poor user experience for the actual users on their platform. So you wanna make sure your site loads relatively quickly and you have all of the policy compliance with your actual ads and you have the actual links to those, you know, privacy policy terms and shipping details on your actual site. So that way you can start seeing your ads get delivered. And if you have any questions at all about this process, feel free to DM me the word TikTok at Real Chase Chapel on my Instagram. And I'm happy to help you and guide you through this process step by step. So that way I can ensure that you're having the most success with your TikTok ads. And so once you've done all of these things, you can go ahead and submit it. And if your ad doesn't deliver within 24 hours, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and check all of those parameters, check the scheduled time, check to see if your creative 
is actually you know following all of the rules that we just mentioned have two or more creatives have different creatives because the more creatives you have the more likely they are to get delivered nine times out of ten as soon as we launch another creative alongside another one with the actual rules that we followed we start to see the delivery happen immediately and that is because TikTok really favors you know those who actually follow the algorithm and recommendations that they apply and so Overall, if you make these changes and edits, you're going to see that your ads are going to start delivering. You don't have to sacrifice your actual pixel for a lower conversion event like add to carts. And in reality, you can get complete payments and purchases just by optimizing for that if you know how to set up all of these settings correctly. Right now, we are spending 300K per month on TikTok ads, and we're going to be putting out more videos just like this on my channel. So definitely make sure to subscribe if and like this video if you haven't already. And leave me a comment letting me know what you think about the overall video i want to be able to help each and every one of you and that's also why we created a tiktok ads mastery program where we cover these exact strategies in depth in our program where we go over how to grow organically a following and not only that but actually master the tiktok ad side where you can go from zero to 10k months and even 10k months all the way to 350k months because that's exactly what we're doing for students in there right now and we're delivering incredible results for them and i'm so impressed with how many of you who are actually succeeding with our TikTok ad strategies in our course. And I'm so excited to see more of you join. And if this is the first time you're just now hearing about this, we're gonna link it below this video so that way you can check it out. I really appreciate all of you for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers and bye all. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.